Well, friends, <clears throat> good morning, and hey, it really is a beautiful morning. It's Tuesday, November 15th. Uh, I'm out on the patio at the parsonage, and I was going to try to scrape some of the frost off of the table here, but, eh, you know, whatever. Hey, I'm Pastor Jim, Pastor Kathy, and our co-pastors here at Christ Covenant Church in Harleysville, Pennsylvania, and it is a beautiful morning. There have been some deer out here so far. Uh, took Wrigley for a walk this morning. It was awesome. But you know what? <clears throat> Things aren't, <clears throat> pardon me. Things aren't awesome for everybody. There's a lot of uh, worry going on about certain things. Uh, some people are worried about the economy. Some people are worried about the election. Some people are worried about family things. There's a lot of anxiety going around about a lot of things, and including, friends, there's a lot of anxiety about the Eagles game last night. Hey, I watched most of it, too. I did fall asleep at the end, but I watched most of it. And you know what? The Eagles' perfect season is over. Uh, they were eight wins and zero losses going into last night, <clears throat> and they lost. There's a lot of things that we can explain, say that uh, face mask call on Dallas Goddard when he fumbled the ball. Ugh, the refs missed that. Uh, uh, there was a personal foul, a hit out of bounds. Uh, it, it, that wasn't out of bounds. The Brandon Graham play, oh, come on. You're calling that a, 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 a personal foul? No, 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 no. There are a lot of reasons to be worried and upset and anxious. But here's the thing. On sports radio this morning, and in my life too, I'm thinking, okay, they're eight and one. Now it's time to move ahead. And you know what, friends? I think that's how it is with our church right now as well. It's time to move ahead. We've had a tremendously trying past, you know, almost three years. There was a lot of stress about COVID and all of the things related to that. We've talked about that. We had, you know, it was fairly stressful. The uh, talk about the land sale last year uh, or, and into this year, uh, but that's been determined. And now we are where we are, just like the Eagles. It's time to get a game plan and to move ahead. And so that's what we're trying to do. One of the things, part of that was at our annual meeting, we set a budget for our mission and ministry. That was just this past couple of days ago. And also, you know, we heard reports about all kinds of different things that are going on. And did you see, did you hear, have it taken into your heart all of the things we've got coming up here in the next month or so? There's a lot of activity, a lot of outreach opportunities for us. So, though <clears throat> we're still in a, in, in a bit of anxiety about what's going to be the future of the church, what's our mission and ministry going to be, we move ahead. Here's some scripture that can help us with that. The Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Philippi these few uh, verses from Philippians chapter 4. They're great verses. Hear them. Philippians 4 four through seven, and hear how he starts, okay? <clears throat> rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Friends, this is what we do. Each Sunday, we rejoice in worship together. We rejoice because the Lord is near. And it's hard to not worry about anything, but you know what? We've been intentionally doing prayer activity, haven't we, each week? Bringing our requests, our thoughts up to the prayer wall. We're moving in that habit of making prayer more and more regular. And it is also uh, the time for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a week from, well, Thursday. But we're in the Thanksgiving mode right now. And friends, when we rejoice, when we worship, when we let our gentleness be known, when we pray, and when we have a spirit of Thanksgiving, not just for turkey and all that stuff, but genuine thanksgiving for one another and for the joys that the Lord sets before us in mission and ministry of the church. 
then the peace of God will enter your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. So friends, there's a lot to be worried about. There's a lot to be anxious about. But here's the antidote, folks. There's the antidote. Take your Bible out today and read those verses once again. Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Let us pray. God, sometimes we look ahead and we see, oh, there's a lot going on. And how can I do this? Or how can I do that? There's anxiety. There's worry. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Pray. Let your supplications be known. Have a gentle heart. And then the peace of God will enter your hearts. God, we pray for that peace of God for all of us. <clears throat> there are medical issues going on. We know them all. We've been praying for them. Testing, uh, all, you know, hospitalizations, just people not feeling good. We pray for them. God, we continue to pray for the Blackwell and Landers family and the death of that dear friend of theirs. God, bring comfort to that family and also comfort to the Blackwell and Landers families as well. God, we pray for our staff meeting today. We pray for our leadership team meeting tomorrow. Uh, we pray for Pastor Kathy and the uh, rest of the East Coast Conference ministers and uh, clergy as they gather now for a couple days uh, for the fall uh, pastors meeting. It's called the Ashram. We pray a blessing on that as a good friend of our congregation. Uh, Reverend Al Tizon is leading them in their, uh, the spiritual part of the retreat. We pray for that, and we give you thanks for them. God, for this day, this beautiful day that I think is going to end up with rain, but we thank you for this day. We rejoice in this day, God. We give you thanks for all things, and we pray for uh, your blessing on the decisions that were made at our annual meeting as we move into a new year, 2023, of mission and ministry together, united with one heart, with one purpose, here at Christ Covenant Church. Amen. <clears throat> a couple notes. Uh, don't forget things that are coming up, right? Uh, if you haven't gotten your money in for the Thanksgiving baskets, uh, call the office later on. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, or email uh, the office, or maybe even uh, get a hold of Katie Schneck. I think she's the coordinator of a lot of that stuff. <clears throat> We want to be a blessing to 25 families or more. So that's what we're doing. Uh, that's $60. Also, this Sunday at 2 o'clock, we have worship, regular worship. I always invite people to that. We have a worship at uh, uh, together combined Thanksgiving worship with the Christs. Christ Covenant, Christ Lutheran, Christ United Methodist. Our combined worship services Sunday at 2 o'clock at Christ Lutheran. Uh, we invite you to that as well. Uh, again, pray for staff meeting, pray for leadership team meeting, and uh, pray for our youth group outing on Saturday as we head out on a field trip to Shady Maple Smorgasbord. It's just kind of a fun thing. Friends, have a wonderful day. Be blessed and be a blessing.